Hello guys welcome back to another video. Call of Duty Mobile has brought new changes to the settings in game. These new settings will bring your gameplay to the next level. So in this video, I will show you. Top 10 new settings in Call of Duty Mobile. Now let's get started. Number 1 is new joystick settings. In this new setting, they merged. Joystick settings and fire button setting. First let's talk about the fixed right fire button. With fixed position. Now, when you click on right fire button its position. Will stick to one position and will not appear when you touch anywhere on the screen. Now let's change the setting to track fire. Now, when you touch fire button it will appear. Wherever you touch your screen. I recommend using fixed position for the best results. Now let's talk joystick left half screen settings. In this setting the joystick will appear anywhere. You touch on screen. Now let's talk about fixed position joystick. In fixed position your joystick will be fixed to one position. And will not appear on screen. So if you are playing on a small device then this setting is best. But if you are playing on a high-end device. This will make your joystick. More comfortable because the joystick will now appear anywhere you touch. Number 2 is Shake Effect While Aiming. In basic there are 3 new settings for aim. Let's talk about them one by one. First, let's make gun kick scale value to 0 to understand more. On 0 value your gun will shake less while firing. Meaning the fire animation will look smooth on 0 value. Now, let's make gun kick scale value high to see what happens. On high value your gun will shake a lot and the fire animation will feel uncontrollable. But I will recommend you set the value to default to 30 for little shake and not affect your aim. Now let's talk about recoil rotate scale and make the value to zero to understand better. On zero value the shake effect on the barrel with zero recoil will be less and make the animation quite smooth. So I recommend using default of zero. Next is the view kick scale. Make the value to zero to see what happens. On zero value if you look closely, the screen camera will be less shaky while firing resulting in much better accuracy. Now let's make the view kick scale value high for better understanding. Now your screen looks shaky while firing. So if this is distracting, then always use the default value for the best gameplay. Number 3 is Shake Effect on Hipfire. First, let's set the view kick value to low. For better understanding. On zero value the screen camera will be less shaky while hip firing, But won't feel too realistic. Now let's make the value high and see the difference. On higher camera view your camera will get more shaky but feel more realistic. It is your choice to if you want. Realistic gameplay or unrealistic gameplay so adjust to your playing style.
Now let's talk about recoil rotate scale. But first let's make the value low. On low value the barrel is less shaky while hip firing. So now let's make the value high and see the difference. Now the barrel shake can be seen a lot on camera. This looks realistic but can distract you while in close combat. So I recommend using the default value for the best gameplay. Number 4 is 3D. 3D hint basically gives you direction of where an enemy is. Firing at you, a 3D arrow will appear in the direction of the enemy's location. Now you can change the color of the 3D arrow to your favorite and can also adjust the opacity. Number 5 on the list is color grading. Now we can change the colors way more and like that. Previous for filters that we only had. You can add saturation, brightness and tint to your games and bring a more vibrant look to your liking. Number 6 is Bullet Trail Effect on Low-End Devices. Bullet Trail Effects are now available for low-end devices. This effect will show you the direction of bullets to better understand the enemy's location. Now you can clearly see the bullet pots in low-end devices. But all of the other graphics settings users will be the same as yours. Number 7 is One Tap ABS. This is one of the best settings ever, turn it on in basic. When you turn it on, this will allow you to start firing, before the animation is finished. As you can see in slow motion, the firing starts before it. Animation, meaning this will save time in opening fire while aiming down sights. Number 8 is New Weapons. Many new weapons have been added. So I recommend you to practice with them all and choose the best attachments for them. Number 9 Weapon Inspection While Sprinting. Another cool setting is Weapon Inspection While Sprinting or Jumping. Turn it on. Now you can inspect your weapon even while in motion. I will recommend using it because it's cool. Weapon bullet sounds. Hopefully these new settings will help improve your gameplay in Call of Duty Mobile. If you have any questions or ideas please comment them down below. And I will meet you there. Airdrop incoming. Please do me a favor and like this video and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.